Welcome Libra to your weekly reading. This is for the 23rd to the 30th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Libra, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. Libra, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with Queen of Pentacles. And we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what Queen of Pentacles is for Libra, please. Judgment. Libra, you are coming through under this message presenting as Queen of Pentacles. It does not matter if you are masculine or feminine. It is the energy of Queen of Pentacles we are speaking about. So we see, my dear Libras, that you're starting off the week feeling very grounded, stable and solid. We see you feeling quite content with the way things are going. You might have plans that you've implemented or plans that you're going to implement. But all in all, you are feeling quite positive. There is this energy here of the glass being half full rather than half empty. And with our little rabbit there, it lets us know that there is a positive energy of things are going your way and things are getting better for you. With judgment coming in, my dear Libras, what we are seeing is that this week, you are going to be called to take some kind of big, bold, decision or action that is going to have a big impact in a certain area of your life. With judgment, you are being called to stand up and honor the call of the angel's trumpet. There's something here spirit wants for you, but you need to find the strength within you, my dear Libras, to get out there and make it happen. Now, the great news is you are presenting as Queen of Pentacles. So you're coming from a position of strength. It's now about taking that strength and putting it into action. So let us continue as I'm sure we're going to get deeper insight as we move along. Now we want to see what the Ace of Swords is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. Right, let us see now what Ace of Swords is for Libra, please. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is incredibly auspicious what we are seeing here, my dear Libras. Libra, to get one Ace in a reading is very auspicious. To get two Aces... Now this takes the reading to a whole new level. This is going to be a very important and a very impactful week in your life. And you're being asked to focus on this Ace energy. What we are seeing here with Ace of Swords is the hand of God coming in with the sword of victory, clarity and a breakthrough. And whatever this breakthrough is for you, it speaks to us of success. And what we are seeing here as well is the hand of God coming in with a brand new opportunity to take you out of where you are now, out of a comfort zone, out of an existing relationship or situation, and there is possibility to walk down a new road. This energy, my dear Libras, is very rare and it does not happen often. And this is why you are being asked to focus on. It's truly the energy of the opportunity, the big break we dream of. And it doesn't happen or come up often for us. 
usually we have to fight and struggle and persevere to get to where we're going and what we want to see and accomplish. But with this coming through for you, my dear Libras, something is just going to break through and present itself to you. And as with all aces, it is the beginning of something. So it's up to you now to recognize what is happening, accept it and move forward with it. Libra, this is the kind of energy of being offered that dream job that you have dreamt of for years. It's the energy, my dear Libras, of winning a huge contract in your business that changes your life completely. This is the energy of an engagement or a proposal, of meeting somebody, whether it is romantically or a friend. This could be the energy, my dear Libras, of meeting somebody new romantically and both you and the other person knowing immediately, wow, I think I've met my person. It's this kind of impactful energy. So this is what you focus on, my dear Libras. And of course, if this comes through, you are not going to want to focus on anything else. Very positive to see. Now let us see what Four of Wands is all about for you that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what Four of Wands is for Libra, please. The Knight of Pentacles. Libra with Four of Wands and Knight of Pentacles coming through here. I do not feel that you have any big challenges coming up this week. What I am seeing, which is so lovely, my dear Libras, is that as the hand of God comes in and offers you the pentacle, we see, my dear Libras, that you do not hesitate for a moment. You accept that pentacle. You understand that there is work to be done, but this does not deter you for a moment. You are now working with this judgment energy. You are standing up. You are acknowledging this blessed gift given to you by spirit. And you are now going to get going. What I love to see for you here is Four of Wands. Because Four of Wands is our 1111 card. So what we know is that this energy here, my dear Libras, is going to raise your vibration significantly. It's bringing you into prosperity and abundance. You're on your way there, my dear Libras. And as I said, even though the field is empty, Libra, you are feeling so lucky and so blessed that all you want to do is get out there and celebrate and share this wonderful good news with people. You're looking at this from a very logical and practical point of view. There's no illusion here. You understand that the ace energy is the beginning energy and that there is work to be done. But my dear Libras, the excitement I am seeing here of getting going and beginning this is so exciting. So, so far, my dear Libras, this is looking like quite an exceptional week for you. Now let us move on and see what strength is all about that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what Spirit would like to share with Libra, please. The Ace of Wands, my gosh. I cannot remember the last time I got three Aces in a reading. So you saw my reaction when we saw two Aces. So you can imagine now how I am feeling when we see our third Ace coming in. And it's coming in under messages and advice from Spirit. Spirit wants you to know, my dearest Libras, that there is great possibility that this is a life-changing week for you. And that no matter what happens and how big and how dramatic it is, not to feel overwhelmed because you, my dear Libras, have the strength to manage everything that is coming your way. 
we now understand how big and significant this judgment energy is because spirit is coming in with the energy of changing something dramatically in your life. As you can see here, we've got the sun appearing, which is resonated in our sun at the end of the week. Spirit wants you to know that this is meant for you. With three aces appearing here, my dear Libras, the presence of spirit this week is overwhelming. It is almost as though spirit is engulfing you in light. So you see the ace energy, you see and feel the potential, and you accept it with anticipation of what it is bringing in. Ace of Wands is spirit coming in and saying, Here, here Libra, take the wand like you would take the baton in the relay race, and now run your race. You have got everything you need here, not only to win, but to enjoy every single moment of this journey. This is quite mind-boggling, my dear Libras. Now let us see what the sun is all about that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. So we want to see now what the sun is for Libra. The chariot. Libra, this is truly one of the most exceptionally positive readings I have done for a long time. At the end of the week, we see the sun coming in, and the sun is the most positive, joyous and inspirational card of the deck. So we see that with all this energy coming in for you, my dearest Libras, if you accept it, if you acknowledge what is now happening for you, you are going to be in a whole different position than you have been in a long time. And what I love to see here for you is the chariot, because as with the Knight of Pentacles, where we saw you accepting the pentacle, whatever this ace energy is, with the chariot, we see you, my dear Libra, galloping into the future. The chariot is a card of success, it's a card of speed, and it's a card of accomplishment. Now we see our chariot rider with that shocked look on his face. Now you might have a bit of a shocked look on your face this week, but it's only because things are so incredibly good for you. You go with that shocked energy, encompass it, own it, because it's you being shocked in the most amazing way. If this resonates with you at all, my dear Libras, this is going to be a week to remember. Right, let's go ahead now and get a message from your angels for the week. Let us see now what Libra's angels would like to share with them, please. Listen to your intuition. So, my dear Libras, your angels also want you to be aware that this week, because they are working so strongly with you and because Spirit's presence is so strong, your intuition is going to be on point. This is another way your angels are going to be communicating with you. So, please, this week, trust your gut feelings, your premonitions, your intuition and any messages that you are receiving in your dreams. Let that wise oracle deep within you be your guiding compass as you make your way through this incredible week. That is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week, and I am sending you all so much love.